Good morning everyone and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. We're located in Frederick, Colorado. That's about a half an hour north of Denver. My name is Larry Vickers. So today before we take a look at the truck, let's just visit about a couple of things. So a lot of people that are looking at these are telling me how much horsepower that the pickup trucks have and comparing us to pickups. Well, yeah, that's true. The pickups can tow a lot. So what is the advantages over purchasing something like this over a pickup? Well, first and foremost is safety. This is a lot larger vehicle, so if we are in an accident, the chances of walking away from this are substantially higher than a pickup truck. Second of all is the brake system. We have air brakes, and let's compare that to hydraulics. The hydraulic on a pickup, the hydraulic fluid on a small leak will continue to leak out until you either replenish it or it completely runs out. So if it completely runs out and we need the brake and go to use it and it's not there, that's an issue. So compare that to an airline. We have a small leak in, a high, in an airline, we simply replenish that air. We have an unlimited supply of air, so we can simply keep that going until we are able uh, to get that fixed. So that's a couple of, of the advantages there. A third one would be the height of the vehicle. As you can see over my shoulder, we're substantially higher than a normal pickup truck and going through traffic. We can see things coming at us from the front, from the sides as well. So those are the three main advantages to purchasing this truck over a pickup. Now let's take a look at this one. This is a 2019 Freightliner M2-106. The conversion on this truck is sports chassis. The unique thing about this one is it has less than 3,500 miles. So let's start by taking a look at the front of the truck. So a couple of things to notice. First is look how large the windshield is. That's 2,500 square inches of glass. So that makes visibility simply outstanding. This truck does come with lane departure. And we can see right up, up there is a sensor for that. So that makes things easier as we're going up and down the road as well. It does come with LED headlights. This is stock number 5U201550. Let's take a look underneath the hood. That's the Detroit D8 engine. It is coupled with the Allison 3200 TRV transmission. This offers 350 horsepower. A couple of things to notice. Right here is yellow, so that means that's okay to check. There's where we would check the oil. Over here is the fuel water separator. As you'll notice, that hood doesn't slam down. We have to push it down. So we're not gonna get slammed if we're underneath there working on stuff. And to latch the hood is just right there. It comes with Michelin. 255 80 R 22.5 tires. As we take a look at it, viewing it from the side, obviously with this few miles, there isn't a scratch anything on this. This is basically a brand new truck. Under here is our block heater. It comes with two fuel tanks underneath here, one here, one on the opposite side. As we take a look inside at the driver's seat, a couple of neat features that this truck has. Here's for heated and cooled seats, and you can actually, there's three dots up here for how hot or how cool you want the seats. It comes with air ride, so this would adjust how high, how low you want the seats. Um, these two buttons are for how much air you want in the back for lumbar and the sides as well. 
It comes with auto or exit seats. As you'll notice, that goes up. But like if I set it to exit, it lowers itself down for easiness of getting back in. This button right here where it says back cycler, that um, basically is for a massage as you're going up and down the road. So a couple of really nice features that this particular truck has. This little pedal right here is to adjust the steering wheel um, when you're sitting in, in the driver's seat, and that is the trailer brake located right there. As we take a look at the back seat, notice how much room is available in these trucks. This seat actually makes down into a bed simply by pressing a button, and on this truck it's located right up here. Underneath right here is where the batteries are located. Right here is a trickle charger, basically for on the road in the night and want to run the DVD player, assist the lights, run the lights, that would assist the battery. Under here is for our def tank. That holds up to six gallons. The most current data is showing about 300 miles for one gallon of def. This truck comes with four storage units, two on each side. The bigger one located here. A couple of diff of add-ons that this gentleman put on when he did buy the truck. A storage component here. Inside there is actually a fifth wheel hitch, so you can swap those out on depending on your needs. And he added these two storage boxes located right here as well. As we look at the setup, we have it hooked up obviously to a gooseneck trailer today. Um, safety chains aren't equipped because we aren't going anywhere. We're using this strictly for video purposes. And from back here, we can get a shot up. That's where the backup camera is located. Down here is a hitch for a bumper pull trailer. And here's where we hook up the lights for like the gooseneck here. Another advantage to a truck like this, this one is specifically over a pickup truck. Let's talk about longevity and practicality. It's not uncommon at all to get five, six, seven hundred thousand miles out of a vehicle like this. Well, as you know, pickup trucks are running. It's not uncommon to see a new one bring a hundred thousand dollars. So if you think about the economics of it, going five or six, seven hundred thousand miles in this before we have to worry about doing anything, compare that to a hundred thousand mile, hundred thousand dollar truck, where two, three hundred thousand miles maybe you're going to get out of it. So in terms of practicality, your smart investment is here. We take a look at the back seat. We can get a good shot of the DVD player. <laughs> Having that much room coupled with the fact that the front two seats are air ride really makes it your driving experience enjoyable. You're going to be able to go long distances 12 13 hours and jump out and feel like you just ran down the road to the grocery store so from that aspect too it's a very very smart purchase let's take a look at the inside The gauges are pretty self-explanatory uh, things to view over here. The backup camera is going to be right here. This is for all of the windows. Now it's an automatic transmission, reverse neutral and drive. So as you can tell, there is no park. So right now we're in neutral with the brake on. There's the locks and the mirror heaters right here. This is the engine brake. So if we're going down a steep hill in the mountains and kick that engine brake on, that's really going to slow things up for us without, without having to rely on our brakes to do quite as much. There's our lane departure button right there. Now this is for the air dump. 
So right now we let the air out of the back of the trailer. Right there is how we did that. Just push that button and all of the air came out. Um, there's our climate control located here, storage here and underneath here. So again, this truck actually has 3,190 miles on it. It's a 2019. So a very, very nice truck we have on the lot. If you have any other questions about it or anything on the lot, please feel free to give me a call. The cell phone number is 970-370-4067. The work extension, 303-684-3404. Or feel free to email me, larry.vickers at transwest.com. Thanks for tuning in today.